So what's everyone up to today? So does everyone have enough work? That's it. I've had enough of this. Doing all these changes, I don't understand. Like, why do we keep making all these things? You're making me do all this additional work. Doesn't make sense. I've done this all changes all the time. Like, what are you doing? Looks like Brendan's got a really bad email. He's yelling at someone. Luckily, he's on mute. So, this, I quit. Where'd he go? Guys, I just got back from the site. Did I miss anything? Come on guys, that's not actually how I did it. It's not how you should actually be doing it. And I don't recommend you quitting out of anger. Taking a deep breath and making sure that you're not burning the bridges behind you. He's crazy! Oh, no! You see, engineering is a small community. And you don't know when the people you need to deal with need to work again. You may be meeting at the same company or you may come back to the company that you're working for. So you don't want to burn those bridges behind you. We want to make sure that you're leaving on good terms as they've both given you the opportunity to work where you have been but also might give you a future opportunity and you never know where you may be working for them or they may be working for you and being a smaller community news can travel fast so don't burn those bridges behind you and this is just my last day as a consultant engineer My decision to leave engineering consultancy really feels like an end of an era. I've been working it for over 15 years, just after I graduated, and I've enjoyed it. Yes, I've changed companies from time to time, but I've really enjoyed my time working as a consultant engineer. Now, the decision to move away from engineering consultancy, it wasn't because of anything bad that happens, lack of opportunities, or great projects. To the contrary, the projects I was working on were great. I was helping shape the technical excellence within the firm that I was working for. I was truly grateful for the opportunities that I was given and the team I was working for was really looking up and up and the culture was developing quite well. I truly miss the colleagues that I was working with. What does this mean for this YouTube channel? Well, you don't need to worry. I'm not really moving far away from engineering. I'll still be doing quite a lot of engineering, so I'll have a lot of content to give you. In fact, it's something really quite exciting that will lead some exciting content on this YouTube channel. I can't wait to take you on this journey. So what is it like on your last day? Well, it isn't much different from what I normally do day to day. Of course, I need to start the day with a coffee because what good engineer doesn't get going with a coffee? Except now I have a hard deadline. You see, there's things that I need to finish. Well, at the end of the day, I need to hand over everything but really you need to make sure everything is all wrapped up. Everything is complete. You don't really have time to do it later as you're not going to be there anymore. So you want to make sure that you're having the easiest handover possible. Also need to make sure that anything you have in your computer is correctly filed away so people can find it at another time. And of course I need to give out my number for those in case of emergencies break glass or what the hell did I do here moments. Still getting in some mentoring, some people are asking questions about how I do different things and talking to junior staff as well to get as much knowledge across as I possibly can and sketching up some last minute details from designs that I'm working on. So what will I miss most about moving out of engineering consultancy, especially moving away for the company that I'm working for? And it's really the people. Although I've had some great projects, but I've also had some tough projects, some long hours, and some tough work. It doesn't matter how good the work is, if you don't have a good work culture and people behind you, it's going to be hard to work there. Even with the toughest projects and the right people behind you, the work can still be enjoyable. So let's let some of them say hi. Hi. Hi guys. So hi, we've got Matt. <laughs> hey Brendan, how's it going? <laughs> hey good. You want to say hi to the crew? <laughs> hey crew. <laughs> Oh, hey, hello. <laughs> Hi, how, how are we? And then of course, 
you need to have that mandatory going away lunch, which is thoroughly enjoyable, having fun with my colleagues for the last time. After which I need to go back, handing over all the work, wrapping everything up. At the end of the day, I can shut off my computer, not need to worry about those next projects. Then of course, cleaning up my desk, cleaning up my locker and making sure that I haven't left anything behind. And hand in my computer, then on to the next journey of my life. If you haven't seen what a standard day in the life of a consultant engineer is, I've got a link to our video here. As always, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you next week. Bye.